The State of Israel held its 10th general election on the 30th of June, 1981. If nothing else, Israel's first conservative government had been full of surprises. In 1978, Israel successfully negotiated a peace treaty with Egypt. For this achievement, Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat received the Nobel Peace Prize. In exchange for peace, Begin had agreed to withdraw Israeli forces and settlers from the Sinai Peninsula. This angered the far right of the Likud, who broke away to form the ultra-nationalist party Tehia. But Begin was not afraid of force. When a cell of the PLO massacred 39 Israeli civilians on a bus just outside Tel Aviv, Israel responded by occupying South Lebanon and forcing the PLO from their headquarters there. And in 1980, Begin championed legislation to annex East Jerusalem into Israel proper. While Begin's achievements in diplomacy cannot be understated, his economic policies were disastrous. In 1977, the majority of Israeli workers were either employees of the state or of a state-owned industry. And as Begin worked to privatize these industries, Israel's already high inflation turned into hyperinflation. By the time the Israeli pound was phased out in 1980, the annual inflation rate was 130%. Dash, which had so radically altered the outcome of the previous election, began to fall apart almost as soon as it had formed. Some of the party lingered on as Shinui, but most of its support returned to the alignment. Former General Moshe Dayan had been expelled from the alignment for joining Begin's government, and so ran as head of his own party, Telem. Meanwhile, the Sephardic branch of Mafdal broke away to form Tami when its leader, Aharon Abu Hatzira, was indicted for larceny, breach of trust, and fraud. This was the first Israeli election to make extensive use of opinion polls. Early polls predicted an unprecedented landslide for the alignment. But their lead disintegrated due to the very public feud between alignment leader Shimon Peres and his predecessor Yitzhak Rabin. However, 40% of Israelis in one survey agreed that the major problems facing the state and the entire political system must be changed, and a strong government of leaders independent of parties should take control. Democracy seemed to be at stake. Street violence broke out between supporters of the two main parties. And here are the results. By just one seat, the Likud won, with 48 to the alignment's 47. All other parties received a total of 25 seats. Israel's new president, Yitzhak Navon, awarded the mandate back to Begin, who formed a government with Mafdal, Agudat Yisrael, Tami, and Tehiyah. 